Hi, readers. Welcome back. So your teacher has noticed that so many of you have been using your really good habits for solving tricky and tough words. But your teacher also noticed that sometimes when the words are really tough or the words are longer, we're still struggling to figure out those words. And so today, what I want to teach you is that as a reader, when we are having a hard time figuring out a word part by part and looking at the picture to help us, we could actually get a running start, right? We could be the kinds of readers that go back to the beginning of the sentence, reread the sentence, try to crush the parts together faster and think, hmm, what would make sense? Can you watch me as I do a little more reading in my Gazi and Gertie book and try to get a running start with some tricky words? Great. So let's look at this page of Gazi and Gertie. And as I'm reading, if I'm really, really stuck on a word, I might actually try to get a running start. Let me start here. But Gertie followed a, ooh, that's a tricky word. Okay, first, let me see if I can look across the parts to figure it out. Sh, in, e, shin, e. Hmm, let me try again. Sh, in, I, shin, I, shin, I, shin, ya, shin, shin, ya. No, that's not right. Wait, this is really tricky. I think I need to go back to the beginning of the sentence, get a running start, try to sound out the parts faster, and think what would make sense based on what's happening. Let me start again. But Gertie followed a sh. Oh, wait, wait. A shiny. Could it be shiny? Shiny, shiny blue beetle. Hmm. Let me think about what's happening here. I see Gertie. I see a little blue beetle that's kind of shiny. Shiny. But Gertie followed a shiny blue beetle. That makes sense. Readers, I was able to figure out this really tricky, tough word by going back to the beginning of the sentence, getting a running start, crashing the parts together faster, and thinking, hmm, what would make sense based on what's happening right? Well, readers, you know now that this is another one of those really good habits for tackling tricky words that you can do whenever you're reading on your own without being reminded. You now know that we want to drop some bad habits and pick up some good ones, and we can do that by looking across the parts and chunks of words and thinking what would make sense after we look at the chunks and parts of words. But if we're still stuck, we can go back to the beginning of the sentence, get a running start, crash the parts of that unknown word together, and think what would make sense. You've got an awful lot of habits to practice today. So off you go to read up a storm. Today, tomorrow, and every day, you can use all of your habits and now you can also have the habit of getting a running